right. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Come on in. All right. Come on over. All right. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, let's try to get this done today. Um, okay, um, all right, Susie. I want you to go right next to Brittany. This is your advisory team, all right? Brittany's the boss. Susie, you come in, right in here. Nick, you're going to be the bookend here. Okay. You're, the, you're, the, um, you're the head of security. Um, um, so I should uh, kind of get a pose like this, kind of yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Come forward a bit, both of you, just a tiny little bit. Okay. All right, good, good. All right. So, all right, nice. Now, what's another concern here? Has to rattle through your head. F-stop, depth of field. Now I have three people. F-8 was yards and yards of F-stop for her. Uh, just being alone, F8? Mm. Callie, what do you think? Uh, the three of them? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd go F8 on here. They are they're back pretty far. Okay, all right. Well, that's a conclusive, absolute answer from F8, Callie. F8, for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Callie. You're welcome. Thank you for that. 100% F8. Yeah, I looked it up, Joe. It's going to be <laughs> fine. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Now, Susie, get a little closer to Brittany. Cool. That way. There you go. Right there. Perfect. Nick, come really close. That's, that's not working for me. The folded arm's not working for me. Hey, hey, this is Seattle. Put your hands in your pockets. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So now I have all three lit and it looks pretty good. Right? I would maybe bump it a little bit brighter. Why would you bump it brighter? It doesn't need to be mechanically brighter. It's like if I go into my handy dandy RGB histogram, the histogram is pretty decent. But I could do this and take it, let's try the flash and see what happens. Let's try bumping the flash up to 2.0 because again, the audible is coming back really quickly. I think it's still got a little more juice in there. So plus two now. That feels better to me. Does that feel better to anybody else? <clears throat> okay. Um, that feels like it's got like a little bit of the higher key feel that I would like for this photograph. Now, I've got a little bit of shimmer of this wall. Here's the beautiful thing about this. It's simple. You can walk in here and be done in 10 minutes. Do I control this wall? No. Once I wash that light off of it, photons go everywhere, okay? So I have no real articulation as to where they start and where they stop. But this is very effective if you're working very fast. Now, Susie has got a pair of glasses on that has got a little shimmer to them. So I'm gonna ask her to, no, no, keep them on. That's part of your persona. Um, but I'm gonna ask you just to adjust them slightly like that. Put, the, put you know, these guys uh, up a little bit on your ears and angle those down, okay. Cool. All right, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Cool. Nice. Way to go, everybody. Okay. So that little, sh that little move on Susie's part, and the shimmer is gone. Okay. <laughs> Which is, that's not a good thing at all. The shimmer is gone. Um, is there a song like that? I don't know. Anyway, um, cool. All right, so what I'm doing here on my LCD is I'm checking sharpness. You know, it looks pretty good across the board. It looks reasonable. But the, the light is still coming back to me. You know, it's coming back fairly quickly. So to be safe, okay, I'm going to go to F11. And that's going to, now my aperture priority will react. What just happened? I went to F11, my shutter speed slid slower. All right, here we go, perfect. Now the flash is working hard. Now the flash is working hard. If I want to ease up the burden on that flash, what I can do is go to ISO 640. Still working pretty hard, but I got now that bounce back, okay? That little bit of, uh, it's a faster recycle, it's working less hard, and I also got the cleanliness of the image back here, and it looks quite nice. Simple flat light, perfect. You guys look great, actually. You could run a multinational company, I'm sure of it, okay? And that's an advantageous move that I just made. F11 actually sharpened up Nick to a great degree. So that's a good thing. Good little safeguard thing. Kenna, yes? 
just have a, a couple of questions coming in on this setup. Um, one is from a noob uh, from Dubai who says, what happens if you then move that speed light closer or further from the wall? And how did you determine, I don't know, is it three feet from there or so? How did I determine? <laughs> I didn't. I would be lying to you if I did. General rule, OK? You don't want to bounce off a wall and put it up against the wall like that. Because then you're not giving the wall a chance mm -hmm. to do its job, right? Now, if I had my druthers, I would push it out in here someplace just shy of where my, my compositional frame is ending right in here. That way I get a chance for this to spread and then this to equivalently spread again and go larger and more wrapping and all of that. Cool. So. Thank you. Sure, no worries. Now, um, all right, so that is a quick corporate portrait. Stay with me, guys, okay? Brittany, you're looking great. Susie, perfect. Nick, absolutely wonderful, okay. Now, um, that's a quickie. That's a one light solution. But I did make that one light look like a big light source. Pretty simple stuff. All right, let's kill this.